So we're going to work on using the cautery machine here. Great. And when we do that, um, everything that we cauterize, it needs to be dry. And mm -hmm. so we, it's very helpful to always have a gauze in one hand. So because of that epinephrine sitting there, we don't have very much oozing, but you want to localize any little blood vessels that you do see oozing and make sure that we stop that. So I look to see where any blood flow is coming from and then we'll cauterize right at those areas. Perfect. Yeah. And still nothing that feels sore at all, Andy? It's no, feeling right okay? No, okay. good. Good. And it really has to be dry. If, if you try to cauterize something when there's a lot of blood pooled, it really is not able to, to seal off the blood vessels. And so you often just have to stop and, and use your gauze frequently. And sometimes if you're down in kind of a deeper area, it can sometimes be helpful to use a sterile Q-tip too. Um, the Q-tips though are not able to absorb very much liquid before they become saturated. And so if there's a lot of bleeding, you really have to stick with your gauze rather than using a, a Q-tip. Oh, was Sorry. it feeling a little bit pinchy yep. right there? Any? Sorry about that. Nope, yeah. nope, you're good. Yeah. Any, so um, let me see, Libby, if I need to go back in that area. And I'm not going to go all the way at the very bottom anymore. Sure. Um, this is often the place where if we need to add more numbing, it's often, yep. yeah. Sorry about that. Any, we're just going to put a little bit more numb okay. in there because I do need to cauterize just a little bit more. We're at the very sure. deep edge of where that lipoma was. Sure. And that's not uncommon because when we inject all the lidocaine and epinephrine, on the top, sometimes right at the base of where the lipoma was, sometimes there'll still be some areas that just feel a little bit numb. No, you go right in, then that way I don't have to take off my sterile gloves there. Yeah. No problem. So yeah, so if we get to a point where it starts to feel pinchy or pokey, we just will stop just yeah. like we had talked about and we're just gonna put a bit, little bit more lidocaine there. Sorry about that, didn't mean to talk no. on you there. No, 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 no. Andy, we, we want you to let us know. We know it's not fun to have to come to the doctor's office, so <laughs> we want <laughs> we, we to make Very this well. as pain-free as possible. <laughs> sure. Oh. And, and more area, just yeah. Just... And Libby, and we might want to kind of get, just angle it down to um, right on the, it was kind of right down at the base of the lesion is where. Right here? Yep, right, yep. That's where I was trying to cauterize and it was feeling a little pinchy there. Perfect, thank you. Good, okay. So, so I think this should be the last place then that we need to cauterize, it's just okay. right in this little area. And let me know though, if, if, if it's still feeling sore at all to you, okay? You yeah, I'll let you know. You doing okay now? Yeah, well, that, that's, that's great, yeah. Good, okay, yep, we just needed that little bit of extra. You doing okay there? I think so. All right. Yeah. Any that takes care of our, our cautery that we needed to do. It looks wonderful there. Everything is nice and dry. Um, so we'll begin putting in the subcutaneous sutures here. Great.